Hey everybody, Nick or VMX here, and um, oh, just a follow up to yesterday's video. A lot of people uh, commented on that they enjoyed me uh, exposing a uh, ridiculous troll named Matt Pack. A couple of people went to his um, channel and made comments, some of which were okay because they were just telling him about the challenge, some of which were, were really unnecessary because it was just, you know counterintuitive trolling, but I, I don't pretend to control anybody else's actions, and, uh, you know, you do what you gotta do, you know, if you wanna go ahead and do that, go ahead and do that, I'm not gonna stop you. I don't necessarily agree with it, but, um, I'm not gonna tell you to stop. Um, since yesterday, things have changed slightly, I issued my challenge. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what happened, uh, I'll put an annotation right there. And you could check out yesterday's video. But, um, yeah, what happened uh, since yesterday is interesting. He's removed all references from his channel to a, you know, mysterious book of movie reviews published in 1989 that is out of print and that he can't come up with a title for because he knows it's a lie, you know. But he's posted a bunch of other stuff which I wanted to respond to because I, I'm still blocked from him even though I've unblocked him. He uh, still has me blocked, which is hilarious. But anyway, he, he's posted this long tirade. Um, and <laughs> there's another guy involved now who actually bought into all this bullshit. But uh, here's, here's what he says, and I'm going to respond to this. Oh, actually, before I do any of that, let me also bring up his original comments, even though I uh, read those to you yesterday because I want to refresh some of that. He's been deleting comments like crazy, but deleting comments doesn't delete them from my email inbox. So let me just bring that up. Okay, here we go. This is what he said. Necro VMX, I didn't purposely come on your channel to insult you. I never do that to people. Actually, from your, from your recent activity, I could see that seems to be all you ever do, so that's another lie. I'm just going to... Uh, remind you of the very first thing you ever posted on the Thunderball review was, this movie reviewer is an idiot. Um, so that's insult number one, and it's the very first thing you ever said to me. Then you called me a low-grade critic, um, and then you called me in your second comment, which was before I even responded, you said that I favor romantic comedies, which is a lie. Um, you called me, you called what I do limp-wristed nonsense. That's another attack on me. Um... You said I've been living in the cave for the past 45 years, which is hilarious as I'm, I'm, I'm 29 years old, so I can't be living anywhere for 45 years. And um, you said that I'm delusional and I have an overinflated ego. And then you said I'm a nutcase. And this is before I said anything to him. This is before I said anything to him. So that's, you know, then he's backpedaling, saying that um, he didn't come to insult me. Uh, when I heard your review, it sounded to me like someone just stuck up an old movie review made years ago, and that's what I thought it was. No, you didn't. It was an accident. You were an accident. What are you <laughs> Come on! You sound like a movie reviewer from yesteryear before the Bond movies took their place in posterity. Actually, I take that as a compliment, so I'm going to thank you for that. I do take that as a compliment. If you hadn't lied about me and quickly blocked me from responding, you could have saved a lot of grief and anger. I never lied about you. Everything I've said is absolutely true. I've had jerks pull this cheap trick on me so many times before that I'm sick of it. I don't care what you're sick of. If you would have left it unblocked, I would have been embarrassed and apologized for my mistake. So I think that's what he's kind of trying to do now, but he's doing it in such an ass way. Uh, here's what I responded to him originally. I didn't read that yesterday, so uh, you could know what lies I'm saying about him. He says, uh, this is what I said. Boy, you sure are stupid. First year, it must be good. It was popular argument is that of a complete and utter moron that you outright lie by saying I favor romantic comedies. Hardly. Thunderbolt was, was not bad, but it wasn't really good either. You're a nutcase as you come on here and go into a tirade, making up lies, getting your facts wrong, and basically flipping out because I liked a movie less than you. Grow up, shut up, and go fuck yourself. That's what I said. There's no lies in there. I didn't, And I called you a liar because you did lie. Lie number one was that uh, you said I favor romantic comedies. I don't even watch them. Lie number two came afterwards. That's when you said that I stole my uh, reviews from some uh, mysterious book that you can't produce or even give a title of. 
Um, so moving on, what he said. Then I would have intelligently argued the merits and faults of different Bond movies if you were up to it. That's fine. I'm always up for that. But you came on, and the very first thing you said is that I'm an idiot. Right there, you lose. You lose. As soon as you start off with you're an idiot, you have lost any intelligent debate. Because that's not debating, that's mudslinging. And if you're going to say, oh, I just wanted to debate you, then you shouldn't have started off with you are an idiot. Because if you resp- if you start off with the low blows, what do you think I'm going to hit you back with? Come on. Um, I don't like being called a liar. Then stop lying. And juvenile names anymore. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, I, I called you a nutcase. It's exactly what you called me. So, you know, I, I said the same exact thing you said. Any more than anyone else. And left cut off not being able to answer back to look bad and make you look unjustifiably good. Dude, you look bad the moment you started with this reviewer is an idiot. You couldn't possibly have saved yourself. I did you a favor, if anything, to stop you from embarrassing yourself on on the internet, like anyone cares, you know? I can understand why you were upset, of course, but I don't think you handled it the right way, dude. Like I said, you lose the ability to tell me about handling things the right way when the very first thing you do is lie about my preference in movies, saying that I like romantic comedies, call me an idiot, a nutcase that I've lived in a, a, a what is it, a cave or under a rock for the last 45 years. <laughs> you lose, man. Oh, this is so, I, I haven't had this much fun in a while, so this is great. Uh, I thought I was talking to old personless audio feed. What? I thought you said I stole it from a book. And coming on and responding would have put me in a very embarrassing position and would have been punishment enough as you would have discovered my many, with my many apologies. Uh, yeah, you weren't going to apologize. I don't believe you. You, you. you give me no reason to believe you. There is no reason to take any of the personal-sounding outrageous comments seriously as I thought I was talking to an ancient and personal tape feed. I thought you said that I stole it from a book. It's not a tape feed. I, I think it's great that you think my manner of speaking is, is like old school and it came from like a professional thing. I think that's pretty cool. I don't think you realize that you're complimenting there, but, but that's all me, man. That's all me. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've, I've reviewed a lot of other movies other than the Bond movies. Remember, you are unblocked, and if you'll see that uh, that was my 2008 movie. Uh, I do movie reviews always in February. In 2009 in February, I did um, all of... Um, Actually, that was 2009. In, in 2010, in February, I did uh, the Stephen King movies, and in 2011, I'm, I'm doing another feature. So I, I review movies all the time. I, I, you know, I never say I know what I'm talking about because I'm not trying to be authority or anything. A review is nothing more than an opinion. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, that's fine. But you sit there and call me a nutcase and an idiot and all that. I mean, you know, you're making personal attacks. If you didn't mean it that way, maybe instead of lying and saying that I stole it from a book and that I'm a poser and going on everybody's page and talking shit about me, maybe if you would have posted something to the lines of, oh man, I'm so sorry, I would have unblocked you and all would have been well. But no, you had to take this further, so now we're having fun. Now we're really having fun. Uh, Let's see, yeah. Uh, so I felt that no possible harm could be done quite innocently. There's nothing innocent about what you did. So really, don't you really don't have any motive for revenge. I'm not trying to get revenge. I'm trying to get you to realize the error of your ways. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to produce this book or even give me the title of it. And uh, a little bit more on that challenge. There's an update to that challenge because somebody else has thrown their hat into the ring uh, on that a bit. So let's see. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Unless that's the type of person you are. Unless you have an ego problem. Well, you've been saying I have an ego problem. I don't see any reason for us to just not forget about it and carry on like intelligent adults. That's what I've asked you to do, but like I said, you can't carry on like an intelligent adult when the very first thing you say is you are an idiot. Sorry about the jump cut, guys. I had to let the dog out, take her for a walk real quick. So we're almost done here. Um, He says, I'm going to take a chance and unblock you from my site and see if you have anything you'd like to say. I say it all in videos, man. And possibly find out what kind of person you really are. That's what you should have done from the get-go instead of calling me an idiot in a nutcase. Your words, if any, will speak for themselves. Yeah, well, my words always speak for themselves. Now, like I said, he's removed any um, reference to this book. Um, But what's funny is I I go to someone else's channel that he's been conversing with. This is another guy. This guy's even more of a crazy idiot because he's bought into all this stuff about that I... uh... (laughs) This is funny. You're going to like this. That I uh, uh, stole the reviews from someone else who... Nobody can name. Um, and this guy still can't get my name right. He says Negro DM- BMW here. Uh, he says on somebody else's channel, I unblocked Negro VMW, but then you saw your message, which was just like, there's something is up. 
and quickly blocked him again. What's up? Was I right all along about thinking he was he was some old tape of an out of print movie review book? How could it be a tape of a book? Audiobooks really weren't popular then. I don't think they had audiobooks of movie. I, and you're like, was I right? I thought you confirmed it, dude. I thought you called your brother or your cousin or whatever long distance and confirmed it. Your story is falling apart. So I want to end this, and this is probably the last review, uh, last uh, video I'll do about this whole review thing. Um, it's an update to the challenge. My challenge still stands. I challenge you to prove that this book exists. Give me a title. Show me the book. You know, and prove that I stole from it if it does exist, which it clearly doesn't, because you made it. You went out of your way to say it's out of print, which is funny. Um, but somebody here. Um, issued an additional challenge to you, which I'm going to read to you, because you might not see all the comments and everything. Hold on, I'm typing with one hand here. Here it is. Idiotic Geek, who is neither idiotic nor... Well, he might be a geek, but he's not idiotic. He says, hey, Necro, here's something else to add to your challenge. I will send Ramat Pack, or whatever his name is, $100 on PayPal, if he can, in fact, prove that your reviews are plagiarized from this so-called book. I am dead serious too. $100 PayPal as soon as he shows everyone proof. If he can't, I will still give him $50 if he admits that he lied. Um, I don't think that you're, you know, <laughs> you're just gonna, I don't think that's going to happen. But hey, uh, Ramat Pack, if you're watching this, you can make $50 just by admitting that the story about me stealing my reviews from some out of print book was in fact a fabrication of your own mind. So I think that's going to be the last that's said on this. Um, I think we're done. My challenge is ongoing. Um, you're unblocked until you decide to start acting up. And that's really it, you know. VMX out.